And please also tell us whom you are addressing your question to. Hapisteki gazetecilerle ilgili bir şey yapmayı düşünüyor musunuz? These matters are currently handled by the judiciary system. Turkey has rule of law and it wouldn't be appropriate for me to comment on the judiciary process. However, I would like to note that no country would allow rogue state and much of what has happened over the past few years should be considered within that context. Thank you. Tiens, as souligné que ces domaines, c'est-à-dire l'état de droit et les droits fondamentaux, que ces domaines directement liés aux critères politiques de Copenhague sont fondamentaux pour le processus d'élargissement, assurer l'indépendance et l'impartialité du pouvoir judiciaire, respecter pleinement les droits de l'homme et d'une importance cruciale. Nous insistons particulièrement sur la nécessité de garantir la liberté d'expression y compris les médias et la liberté de réunion. It's, it concerns the EU-Turkey migration deal and specifically when do you plan to put forward legislation to grant access to uh, the labor market for Syrian refugees? And secondly, um, how important is resettlement of Syrian refugees directly from Turkey to the EU uh, for you to in, in uh, fulfilling your obligations on your part of the deal? And do you have a figure in mind how many people should be resettled? Thank you very much for this uh, question. First of all, regarding your first question, we are uh, preparing a, a draft law to issue a working, wor issue working permit for the Syrians living in Turkey. And we are, uh, they have a liberty to access to our healthcare system, we are building new classes for the school age Syrians. We have more than 500,000, and uh, so far only about 200,000 of them, even less, can go to schools. Therefore, together with you, we should build more classes for this, and we need to also issue working permit for the Syrians living in Turkey. Regarding uh, the second question, I think you should ask this question to the uh, uh, EU member states mm -hmm. and on 17th we are going to have a meeting with like-minded uh, countries leading by uh, Madame Merkel and uh, what we are against is that while taking refugees from Turkey or migrants, Syrians, EU countries shouldn't be very selective. They, they shouldn't try to pick the, mm -hmm. the most educated ones, the Christian ones or uh, they shouldn't put other criteria while accepting this. That is what we are against. And this is a huge burden on Turkey's shoulder. We spent so far $8 billion. And what we receive from international community is only $430 million. And the $3 billion coming from uh, euros from EU is not going to the uh, Central Bank of Turkey. It will go to the uh, projects that we will uh, create for the Syrians living in Turkey. Overall, we need to help <coughs> these vulnerable people wherever uh, they live. Thank you. Je vais je vais ajouter, si vous le permettez, peut-être deux mots, parce que les derniers six mois, j'avais l'honneur de m'occuper un peu de la migration, et moi, je veux aussi souligner que les trois milliards qui seront versés aux autorités turques dans le cadre d'un fonds qui est géré par la Turquie et par l'Union européenne, il ne s'agit pas de donner des milliards à la Turquie. Mais la Turquie, elle a des charges énormes. 2,2 millions de Syriens habitent en Turquie, en dehors des camps. Il y a 300 000 personnes qui habitent dans des camps de réfugiés et il y a 2,2 millions qui habitent donc en Turquie. Je me rappelle ce que le ministre des Affaires étrangères m'a dit. À Kilis, il y a plus de Syriens que de Turcs, plus de 100 000. 